the design elements as used by the international style of graphic design. According to the um, VCD study design, we have eight elements of design we need to focus on. They are point, line, shape, tone, form, color, texture, and type. Point. Point is a dot or any other small repeated shape. Point can be used to identify a location on a map. Create tone. Function as a decorative graphic element. Notice here the size of point and distance between each point. These variables uh, will create lighter or darker tone. Point in various sizes and weights, creating tonal values. Point used decoratively. On the left, as the contour of a bottle and a glass. On the right, we have point signifying holes of these Meccano strips of metal. Line. Line has the essential character of length. In addition to length, line has weight, width, continuity and direction. Line is also the edge of a shape or a form. Any two shapes butting against each other will always create a line. The edge of a shape is a line. The edge of a form or shapes within a form can be understood as lines. Lines draw the eye to a focal point. Repeated lines create tonal values and imply movement. Lines can vary in weight and width. Non-drawn lines of beams and wires Lines of type as contour of a portrait. Horizontal line direction can communicate a sense of being at rest. Vertical line direction can communicate strength. Lines running diagonally imply movement, especially when an element runs off the page or the picture plane. Lines running diagonally can communicate a sense of agitation. Curved lines, like diagonal lines, can also animate compositions. Shape. Shape is generally the 2D space contained within lines. Shape can be representational or abstract. Shape can be organic. Shape can be geometric. Shapes can be described as having curvilinear contours. Shapes can be described as having rectilinear contours. Shapes, as well as being organic or geometric, can be regular or irregular. Shape can have a hard edge or a soft edge. Shape can be made up of other shapes. Varieties of contour line can allude to a shape's texture. Tone. Tone ranges from white through greys to black. Tone describes the play of light and shadow on an object defining its form or shape. Tone can be applied as flat areas or shapes of a single tone. Tone can be applied in a graduated scale creating three-dimensional forms. Grey tone photography, depending on its context and its content, can communicate a level of seriousness, solemnity, gravitas, nostalgia, or even tragedy, as in this post of Shakespeare's Othello. Form. Forms are three-dimensional objects and two-dimensional representations of three-dimensional objects. Here are a couple of examples of actual objects, a 3D calendar and some packaging. Sculptural geometric forms. Form shares characteristics of shape. Organic forms with curvilinear contours. Geometric forms with rectilinear contours. 
Texture. Texture is a descriptive element. Texture describes what an object is. Examples of textural zones contrasted with zones of color and type. Texture can be actual or implied. Here we have a photograph which includes the textures of froth, glass and condensation. Here we have a serrated contour representing successfully the texture of a feather. To depict texture effectively requires an awareness of how tonal or colour variations change on an object's surface. The repetition of shape, line or type creates a texture. Type. Type refers to characters or letters printed or displayed on a screen. Synonyms for type. Typography. The art of working with type. Typeface. A specific family of type. Font. A typeface from one family in a specific size, weight or style. For example, Arial, 10 point bold. Letter form is simply the shape of letters. There are five main typeface styles. Serif, sans serif, slab serif, script, decorative. Serif typefaces can appear traditional and conservative depending on other elements in a composition, as in this example, serifs can appear dignified or graceful. Sans serif typefaces appear non-traditional and contemporary because of their minimalist appearance and lack of decorative flourishes. Their simplicity gives them a practical quality and are used to imply an efficient, no-nonsense feeling. Slab serif typefaces appear heavy and bold. They have a solid appearance. They look forceful and communicate assertiveness. Traditional calligraphic typefaces imitate pen and ink handwriting. They appear elegant and communicate importance. Personal handwriting typefaces appear casual and communicate a sense of the personal. Type is made up of strokes, counters, and negative spaces. Counters and the negative spaces of letter forms can be modified to communicate ideas. While all type styles communicate through their letter forms, the communication of specific ideas is more pronounced in decorative typefaces. Type can be the dominant element in a composition. Type can be employed like any other graphic element, rotated, cut up, and more in unlimited ways. Color. Color serves a dual function in art and design, a formal function and a semantic function. Color originates in light. Sunlight, as we perceive it, is colorless. Color in light is made visible when a beam of light passes through a prism. How do we see colour? All the invisible colours of sunlight shine on objects. The surface of a red object absorbs all the coloured light rays, except for those corresponding to red, and reflects this colour to the human eye. The eye receives the reflected red light and sends a message to the brain. The formal function of colour organizes information, forms links, creates emphasis, identifies relationships, creates unity and variety in the composition. Our understanding of colour is our understanding of the colour wheel and the application of colour requires an understanding of colour schemes. Here are the, some major colour schemes. The triadic, the complementary, the split complementary, analogous colours, monochromatic colours, neutrals,
cool colors and warm colors. Design software offer color modes in CMYK and RGB. So RGB is for electronic publication. That is the colors of red, green, and blue are mixed together and they're mixed together in values from 0 to 255. For process printing, we use CMYK. These guys are produced in terms of percentages of cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Post is using color mixing as a graphic motif. Complementary color scheme. Color combining with simple shapes to create interest. Here's a couple of uneasy color combinations. They unsettle the eye. Alongside the formal function of color is the semantic function of color. Color communicates symbolic and indexical meaning. An example of the indexical meaning is smoke is an index for fire. The following is a list of symbols related to particular colors. Of course, symbols are not universal. Different cultures will have different meanings for, or multiple meanings for one individual color. But we can trace a symbol back to its index. So, red, index of blood, symbol of passion. Green, index of foliage, symbol of growth. Blue, index of sky, symbol of peace. Black and yellow, index of wasp, symbol of Danger. Orange. Index of Buddhist monks' robes. Symbol of Buddhism. Yellow. Index of the sun. Symbol of joy. White. Index of wedding dress. Symbol of purity. Black. Index of the night. Symbol of mystery. Brown. Index of earth. Symbol of stability. Here are a couple of examples of colour with symbolic meaning. The generalised skin colours representing the harmony of human races. The use of red to mean stop or pause, and green, start, go. Here symbolic colour is also used for emphasis. The colour red used formally for emphasis and symbolically to highlight the need to speak up about peace. Note the grey tone setting up the formal contrast and the seriousness of the message. Indexical colour. Lines that shift in direction combined with the colour blue as a reference to the sea allude to the events of Kiel Week, a yachting festival. Billowing type and the colour blue communicate a similar idea.